it's time for a hefty dose of nostalgia. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 forgotten 2D platformer games. For this list, we take a look at the titles that were once highly thought of, but have slipped out of the public eye today, perhaps not receiving the sequels or enduring recognition that some believed they should have achieved. We're ruling out Odd World Abe's Odyssey, as that game recently received a full remake titled New and Tasty, so that's hardly forgotten, and that was barely a platformer anyway. <sighs> Hello. Hello. Oh, buddy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Number 10, Dynamite Heady. As you might have gathered from the name of this Sega title, your main weapon of choice will be Heady's interchangeable cranium. Not just a novelty mechanic, these power-ups work in conjunction with flexible level design that can switch perspective at any moment. Provided by your good friend Head Case, these heads allow you to stop time, have a star shooting pig face, and even take to the skies. It's not a serious platformer by any means. Hetty's nemesis is a cat puppet named Trouble Bruin. Yet, the slick, colorful gameplay is so good, it's amazing that no one picked it up for a sequel. You can pick up this little gem on the virtual console, and you'd be a pinhead not to. I cannot believe it. Number 9, The Addams Family, SNES version. Ocean Software released a number of versions of this movie tie-in, but it was the SNES version that nailed the spooky kooky vibe that made the franchise so well loved. It certainly was difficult, you could only take two hits, and levels are flooded with diverse enemies. Yet, part of the Adams estate looked so good in video game form, you won't ever be turned off by the task of having to save Uncle Fester and company. Not only was the SNES version superior cosmetically, it also possessed far tighter controls, meaning you're never hindered while jumping, flying, shooting, and stabbing as Gomez Adams. Mario beware, there's a new contender for the best 2D mustache. Well, new in 1992. Number 8, Klonoa, Door to Phantom Isle. As the stalwarts of 2D platformers increasingly moved into the 3D world, this charmingly innocent title proved that there was still plenty of life in one of the oldest gaming genres. It might technically be presented in 2.5D, but it plays just like a 2D game with a few notable differences. I mean, few other platformers have a story that will stick with you after completion, yet you will be engrossed by the memorable cast of heroes and villains, all of whom have beautifully designed 2D sprites set against a detailed 3D world. Even a Platform Game of the Year award and a Wii re-release couldn't spark new interest in Klonoa and Hugh Pow's quest as many will likely never give our cute little cat boy a chance. Number 7, Decap Attack. Who would have thought that we'd have a list featuring two games with disembodied head attacks and cheesy puns? Sega must have been a fan of that combination, as they published both this title, starring decapitated mummy Chuck D. Head, and the aforementioned Dynamite Heady in the early 90s. In settings like Elbow Island and <clears throat> Abdomain Land, you can't make this stuff up, you control Chunk as he launches his skull at equally abominable foes in order to stop the evil Max D. Cap from taking over the land of the living. With quirky music and humor supplementing a tone that mixes cartoons with Castlevania, you might as well spend a few measly dollars and get it on Steam. Number 6, Mischief Makers. Yuck! 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 Seeing as everyone was going to 3D at the time, it's a shame that most reviewers thought that this 2D game was kind of stuck in the past, as today it's regarded by the few who knew it as one of the best platformers of the fifth generation. Coming on the N64, it couldn't afford to fall into all the tropes of the genre, and aside from its Mario-esque kidnap plot, it's like no other game you've played before. Yuck! Almost everything on the screen can be picked up, thrown, or most famously shook by cyborg protagonist Marina, 
causing havoc for the inferior beings you come across in each humorously puzzling level. For true perfectionists, the lure of every gold gem and an S rank is an attraction that you just can't <clears throat> shake off. Number 5. Clash at Demon Head With a nutty anime-inspired plot that is impossible to fathom at first, you can reasonably understand if someone can't get into this over-the-top adventure starring Billy Big Bang Blitz. If you persevere, though, you're rewarded with a Metroidvania-style game with variety belying its hardware limitations. The graphics aren't great, that's the NES for you. but its crazy story, supplemented by super suits and magical abilities, is filled with more bizarre twists than you can shake a stick at. There's mind control, demons, hermits, and fairies, all of whom have unintentionally hilarious dialogue with Bang, presumably due to the translation process. Even at the end, you probably won't have a clue what's happening, but you probably loved every second nonetheless. Number 4. Rocket Knight Adventures There was a time when Sparkster the Armored Opossum was touted as an alternative Sega mascot, and given how Sonic has fared in recent years, it might have been better for everyone if it had been the Hedgehog that had faded away over time. While it might not be technically groundbreaking, the usual kidnap plot is back and you only have two attacks, it compensates for that with an attention to detail that makes the battle against the villainous forces at play so memorable. Evil pigs will fly out of their armor when hit, while vehicles and mechs are meticulously crafted. A 2010 follow-up sadly sold a measly 12,000 copies in its first year, suggesting that this fearsome marsupial will remain in Sonic's murky shadow. Number 3. Commander Keen Series Making use of technology that would allow PCs to compete with the slick NES, believe it or not, these episodic games from id Software, yes, that id Software, have you combating intergalactic threats with a pogo stick and a ray gun. Keen could have easily come from any of our childhood imaginations, and each non-linear level feels as though it was ripped straight from a kid's abstract fantasy of being an astronaut. Despite id moving on to bigger projects and a poor Game Boy Color adaptation leaving the official continuity stranded, the series still resonates with a small group of fans, some of whom have created fan mods to extend Keen's legacy beyond dumb dopefish memes. Number 2. The Magical Quest, starring Mickey Mouse When you experience Disney game tie-ins like Wreck-It Ralph and Disney's Dinosaur, it's easy to write off any game carrying the famous logo as a shameless cash-in on the brand. That may well have been the case for the first in the Magical Quest trilogy, a game that boasted some of the most refined art design ever seen on the SNES. Although you'll have to play on hard to get any sort of challenge, the selection of costume power-ups provide plenty of depth and differentiation when looking for some of the secrets hidden within this gorgeous cartoon world. Its brevity certainly diminished its lasting appeal, but its look and gameplay are things that deserve more than just a fleeting glance. Before we reveal our top pick, let's have a look at some honorable mentions. Number 1. Act Razor Combining epic monster slaying platforming and civilization building simulation, this revolutionary hybrid seems to be laying the foundations for a massive future franchise. Both gameplay elements are seamlessly linked. If the statue wasn't on the ground hacking at beasts and chasing down Tanzra, the angel wouldn't be able to oversee the progression of your fledgling god-fearing people. 
All of this godly action is underpinned by a resounding score by Yuzo Koshiro, providing the perfect complement to the game's surprisingly discerning commentary on religion and the role it plays in our society. Go figure. Unfortunately, the one lonely sequel we got dispensed with the city sim features, leaving us wishing that we had the godlike powers to put that mishap right. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? What 2D platformer do you feel as though you're alone in loving? For more unforgettable top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.